How's everybody doing this morning? I'd just like to show you a quick peek at some upscaling here on this TV set and why it's probably the best upscaled TV set for 219. And if, if you don't think it's the best, certainly it's right up there with the Sony. So um, this is the weakness of the LG TV sets over the last previous years um, up until now. This is the best chip that LG has put out. Um, and uh, this is the version 2 of the uh, A9 chip. So uh, it is phenomenal, guys, as you could tell. Um, let's get back to some color here. Hold on here. And uh, this TV is basically for accuracy. Uh, this particular setup I got right now, and I can make it pop more if you wanted, but I like to watch mine as accurate as possible, as you could see. And... Um, you know, just like to have fun with fun with it as well. Uh, football, I like to bring out that little extra pop and stuff, but not the glowing pop where the fi the field looks like it's uh, neon green from Mars. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good things about this TV. Most people know that if, uh, this is one of the major things that I have taken TVs back for is the upscaling. Mm -hmm. If the TV cannot upscale properly, I will not accept the TV. Um, <clears throat> because I watch a lot of TV uh, in the background, news, stuff like that, uh, stuff like you're watching now, basic programs, and I love, I love sports. <clears throat> Excuse me. When was that morning thing again going on here? Um, allergies are out today as well. It's crazy. But um, what I was saying was, yeah, you just can't beat it. And uh, the only TV I would ever have besides this TV would be the Panasonic, of course, and the... Uh, the Sony A9G as well, but uh, this is my top TV, that's for sure. Um, I'm very shocked with the upscaling on this TV, and surprised to be honest with you. I was looking for uh, to take a little sacrifice of upscaling over my 950G, and uh, if anything, I've actually gained instead of lost. So I love the TV. Just want to show you a few clips of this, and uh, all you press and pause and switching the channels here, so you guys could see a few other channels. And this is basically Rabbit Ears TV. So this is basically off-air antenna to the TV, okay? So this should actually be the worst you could pull in. Um, worse than cable. This is right off the antenna outside to the TV. I'll let you guys check it out. Hair. Skin tones. You know, you guys are getting a little bit of exaggeration because the camera. It's best I could do with my camera. But you know, you get the you get the idea. Crazy thing about it, the OLED light is on 95. So I, I could even brighten it up even more. But I like it right here. Just phenomenal, guys. Just phenomenal. Incredible. TV has never been this clear ever. Researchers don't really know exactly what's going on. They don't know precisely what's causing people to become sick. As Ann Thompson said, not oversaturated, no jaggies, not overly sharpened. Some of the chipsets out there over sharpen the image, which gives you a lot of grit and grain in the picture. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you have a good one. I think I'm just going to leave it on this channel because it's so nice. And uh, I got to get going. But I just wanted you guys to check it out and the uh, check out the upscaling of a 720p uh, signal. So you can check out what's going on with it and, uh, you know, kind of get a grasp for how good the uh, chip it, chipset is on the new LG C9. It's a major upgrade guys versus the uh, C7 and then a slight upgrade from the C8 and it's right on par with the X1 Extreme chip and uh, man I'm, I would like to say it's better but it's so close so close it's drawn at straws I, I have a couple buddies out there that have this TV they think it's better they think it's straight up better 
but um, I've had several Sony TVs. You know, everything has its pros and cons. Some people complain that the Ultimate Extreme chip is over-sharpening. I disagree. Um, you know, tomato, tomato. At this point, when it gets this high end, it's close, guys. Have a good one.